Environmental monitoring is one of the important steps athletic trainers can take to maximize summer practices safely for athletes. Wet bulb globe temperature, or WBGT, is one of the most commonly used measurements to quantify heat stress. Organizations such as American College of Sports Medicine and National Athletic Trainers Association have developed activity modification guidelines based on the WBGT. The guidelines contain recommendations for activity modifications such as altering the rest to work ratio and hydration breaks, as well as threshold temperatures for modifying, seizing, or canceling physical activity. WBGT takes in consideration the air temperature, humidity, heat from the sun, and wind speed. Because it takes into account varying environmental factors, it is a more preferred measure than only using the air temperature or using the heat index which is derived from the air temperature and humidity. It should be noted that when referring to the WBGT guidelines, heat index is not the same as WBGT and you could not substitute heat index for WBGT as they calculate those values quite differently. For example, WBGT of 80 degrees Fahrenheit is not equivalent to a heat index of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. When assessing the WBGT, on-site WBGT measurement is the gold standard. In some circumstances, higher temperature may be experienced in areas with non-natural surfaces such as artificial turf and asphalt courts. The measurement should be taken following the manufacturer's guide such as handheld or stationed from a certain height with the appropriate calibration time. Observing the environmental conditions will not only aid the healthcare professional like the athletic trainer make appropriate decisions to ensure the athlete's safety, but also help educate and bring awareness to the team to follow appropriate heat acclimatization guidelines to maximize the performance in the heat. Clinicians may refer to the recommended modifications suggested by ACSM and NATA. It is also highly recommended for the athletic trainers to build a consensus on heat policies among the athletic director, event organizers, and coaches on modifications to be made in the time of severe heat stress. Gaining support from the stakeholders will ensure the modifications to be applied smoothly. For more information, please visit the Corey Stringer Institute website at ksi.ucon.edu or see the current position statement on exertional heat illnesses by NATA at nata.org.